Imagine making plans for your dream holiday, and then finding out that UK citizens can't go to that place in 2024. Unfortunately, this is becoming more and more likely because some countries that used to accept British tourists with open arms are now shutting their doors. Before we start going through this list, welcome to our program, which is your complete guide to seeing different parts of the world. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss an update. As politics, safety worries, and diplomatic relations around the world change, so do travel restrictions. For people with a UK nationality, these countries are no-go zones. This could be because of tense political ties, safety warnings, or new visa rules. Let's look at the top 10 countries that people from the UK will not be able to visit after 2024. 10. Afghanistan In 2024, Afghanistan has become one of the most dangerous places for people from the UK. It used to be a famous place for adventurers and history buffs to visit. Since the Taliban took back power, there has been a lot of instability, and every day there are more stories of violence and terrorism. The UK government has strongly warned people not to go to Afghanistan because of the high risk of kidnappings, bombs, and other violent acts. British people who are still in the country are being told to leave right away because there isn't much consular help. Things have quickly gotten worse in Afghanistan. Even journalists and people who work in emergency aid are in great danger, and the country's infrastructure is so bad that many areas can't be reached at all. The Taliban's strict view of Islamic law also puts a lot of people in danger, especially women and minorities. Even though the international community is trying to make the area safer, Afghanistan is still a high-risk place that doesn't look like it will get safer anytime soon. The country is one of the most unstable in the world because there is no government rule and there are more insurgents. According to the UK Foreign Office, since 2023, the number of attacks on foreigners has gone up by more than 50%. Afghanistan is now at the top of the UK's do not travel list because of this scary trend. For people who are still thinking about going to Afghanistan, the risks are much greater than any possible rewards. Because of the lack of basic services and worsening security, it is almost impossible to move safely within the country. There is always a chance of bloodshed, even in places that were thought to be safe before. Afghanistan's future is still unknown, but right now it is without a doubt one of the most risky places for people from the UK to visit. 9. Myanmar Myanmar used to be a popular tourist spot because of its beautiful scenery and rich cultural history. But recently, the country has become more hostile toward people from the UK. During the military coup in 2021, the country was in complete chaos, with large-scale protests, bloodshed, and violations of human rights. As of 2024, things have only gotten worse, and the UK government now warns people not to travel to Myanmar unless they have to. The military junta's harsh response to criticism has killed thousands of people and detained foreigners without a reason. Travelers from the UK should not go to Myanmar because of the high risk of getting caught up in violence or being arrested without a reason. The country's tourism business used to be very strong, but now many popular spots are closed to visitors. Traveling within the country is also very dangerous because the infrastructure isn't very good and there is ongoing fighting between the military and ethnic armed groups. The UK Foreign Office says that even places like Yangon and Mandalay that were thought to be safe before could suddenly become violent. They also have tight control over the internet and other communication networks, which makes it very hard to stay in touch with family and friends while you're in Myanmar. Another big worry for people in the UK is the chance of being arrested for sharing an opinion or carrying certain electronics. Even though the coup was condemned by the rest of the world, things are not getting better in Myanmar. Because the junta still has power and there is ongoing social unrest, 
The UK is one of the most dangerous places for people to live in 2024. People who want to go to Myanmar should not because the risks are too high. Because of the risk of getting involved in violence and the lack of consular help, it is a place that you should never go. Myanmar's future is still unclear, but UK citizens will not be able to visit until there are major changes in the political situation. 8. Syria Syria has been in a brutal civil war since 2011. The country used to be known for its long past and cultural sites. The situation is still very bad in 2024. The UK government still warns people not to go to Syria because of the high risk of terrorism, kidnapping, and military fighting. A lot of the country is in ruins because of the ongoing violence. Entire towns have been destroyed. There is always the chance of a terrorist attack because radical groups like ISIS are still active in the area. People from the UK who go to Syria are really at risk of being hacked by these groups and held hostage or used as propaganda. Syria also has one of the worst humanitarian crises in the world, with millions of people forced to leave their homes and live in terrible conditions. It is even more dangerous to fly to Syria because there aren't enough basic services like hospitals and clean water. According to the UK Foreign Office, even aid workers and reporters with a lot of experience are in grave danger when they work in the country. The ongoing war and the fact that the Syrian government has tight control over some areas make it almost impossible to travel safely in the country. For people who are still thinking about going to Syria, the risks are much greater than any possible rewards. Everywhere you look, violence breaks out, making the situation on the ground hard to predict. Additionally, since the UK and Syria do not have any diplomatic ties, there is almost no consular help available. The Syrian government has also been known to arrest foreigners on suspicion of spying, which makes things even more dangerous for people from the UK. The international community is trying to bring peace to Syria, but the war doesn't seem to be getting better. The country's future is still unknown, but right now it is without a doubt one of the safest places for UK people to visit. 7. Yemen Yemen used to be a place where daring tourists went to learn about its unique history and culture, but now it is one of the most dangerous places on earth. The civil war which started in 2015 and is still going on, has destroyed the country and caused an epic humanitarian crisis. Due to the high risks of terrorism, armed conflict, and disorder, the UK government tells everyone not to go to Yemen. There has been a lot of bloodshed between the Houthi rebels and the Yemeni government, and foreigners are often caught in the middle. According to the UK Foreign Office, there is a very high chance of being kidnapped in Yemen, where terrorist groups are openly going after Westerners for ransom. It is almost impossible to move safely within the country because of the lack of infrastructure and the ongoing conflict. There are many areas that can't be reached at all, and the ones that can are dangerous. The humanitarian situation in Yemen is also very bad. Millions of people are going hungry and can't get basic services. The healthcare system has broken down, and there is a high chance that diseases will spread. The UK government has told its citizens many times not to go to Yemen, because there isn't much consular help there. On the ground, things are hard to predict, because fighting can happen anywhere and at any time. People who are thinking about going to Yemen for humanitarian reasons should really think again, because the risks are just too high. Yemen's future is still unknown, but right now it is without a doubt one of the most dangerous places for people from the UK to visit. Because of the ongoing war, the lack of basic services, and the high risk of violence, British tourists should not go there. 6. Iran Iran has a lot of history and culture, but in recent years, it has become more unfriendly toward people from the UK. As diplomatic ties between the UK and Iran have gotten worse, travel limits have been tightened and tensions have risen. The UK government says that people shouldn't go to Iran unless they have to. 
They say that there is a chance of being detained without a reason, the government is unstable, and there is no consular help available. Many foreigners have been arrested by the Iranian government because it is cracking down on opposition. They are usually charged with espionage or subversion. The UK's diplomatic office in Iran has been greatly reduced, which makes it harder for British citizens to get help when they need it. Many people from the UK have decided not to visit Iran because getting a visa is hard and people can be held for small crimes. Also, the country's strict Islamic laws make things very hard for Western tourists, especially women and people who are seen as breaking culture norms. Even people who go to Iran legally, like for work or to see family, are at risk of being detained. The ongoing war with the West has made things even more difficult in Iran and has made people more hostile to the West. This has made people in the UK more likely to be harassed and discriminated against. Even though Iran has a lot of historical and cultural places, the risks of traveling there in 2024 are just too high. The political situation in Iran doesn't seem to be getting better, and the risk of being detained without a reason is still a big worry for people in the UK. 5. Haiti the Caribbean country of Haiti is known for its rich past and culture, but it is becoming less safe for tourists to visit. Political instability has been a problem for a long time in the country, and things have hit a breaking point in 2024. The UK government says that people shouldn't go to Haiti because there is a high risk of kidnapping, armed violence, and political unrest there. Gang violence has reached levels that have never been seen before and criminal groups now rule whole neighborhoods. Many parts of the country are wild because there aren't enough good police officers. The UK Foreign Office says that gangs often hold foreigners, including UK citizens, hostage for cash. Haiti's infrastructure is very bad. There are frequent power outages, restricted access to clean water, and a healthcare system that is almost falling apart. Natural events like hurricanes and earthquakes can happen in the country, which makes it even more dangerous to visit. Protests and civil unrest have spread across the country because of the ongoing political crisis, making it hard to move safely within the country. Even in places that were once thought to be safe for tourists, there is a high chance of getting caught up in crime. Also, the UK government has said that there isn't much diplomatic support in Haiti, which makes it hard for British people to get help in an emergency. Even though Haiti has a lot of history and natural beauty, the chances of going there in 2024 are just too high. It's not a good place to visit because of the rising crime, lack of basic services, and high risk of natural disasters. Haiti is still one of the most dangerous places for UK citizens to visit in 2024 and things don't look like they'll get better any time soon. It has been one of the most dangerous places on earth for decades, because of civil war and unrest in the country. For Somalia The UK government has long said that people shouldn't go to Somalia, and that advice still stands in 2024. There is a lot of terrorism in the country, and groups like Al-Shabaab are openly going after foreigners. It is very likely that someone will kidnap you in Somalia. Westerners are often held for ransom or used as bargaining chips by terrorist groups. It is almost impossible for foreigners to move safely within the country because of the bad government and widespread violence. The UK Foreign Office says that even people going for humanitarian reasons are in great danger, as many aid workers have been attacked or kidnapped. Somalia doesn't have much in the way of infrastructure. Many places don't have simple services like electricity, clean water, or medical care. There is a lot of instability in the security situation because of the ongoing fighting between different groups. Violence could happen at any time. The UK government says that there isn't much diplomatic support in Somalia, which makes it hard for British people who are having problems to get help. Even though the international community is trying to make the area safer, UK people still can't go to Somalia. 
Somalia is one of the most dangerous places for people from the UK to visit because the risks are so great compared to the possible benefits. 3. South Sudan South Sudan is the youngest country in the world, and it is still having trouble with instability and internal war. The UK government says that people shouldn't go to South Sudan because of the dangers of armed conflict, kidnapping, and racial issues. Because the country doesn't have enough infrastructure and protection, it's especially dangerous for people from other countries. A lot of violent crimes happen there involving foreigners, so UK people should not go there in 2024. South Sudan is always at war because of the civil war that started soon after the country got its freedom in 2011. Because of the ongoing fighting between the government and rebel groups, millions of people have been forced to leave their homes and need help. The UK Foreign Office says that there is a very high chance of being kidnapped in South Sudan, where armed groups are actively looking for foreigners. The security situation is very hard to predict because there aren't enough effective police officers and guns are easy to get. South Sudan's infrastructure is very bad and many places can't be reached because of bad roads and the ongoing war. There isn't much of a healthcare system so getting to medical facilities is hard, and there's a high chance that diseases will spread. The UK government says that people shouldn't go to South Sudan, because there isn't much consular help there. There are also racial tensions in the country, which make things even more difficult. These tensions often turn violent. People who want to go to South Sudan should not because the risks are too high. It is one of the most dangerous places for people from the UK to come in 2024 because of the ongoing conflict, the lack of basic services, and the high risk of violence. South Sudan's future is still unclear, but for now, it is clear that British tourists should stay away. 2. Eritrea Eritrea is one of the world's most isolated and harsh countries, and it is becoming more and more unfriendly toward outsiders. The UK government tells people not to go to Eritrea because of the high risk of being detained without a reason, the lack of diplomatic backing, and the limited freedom of movement. People from other countries are not welcome in this country because of its strict visa rules and harsh limits on free speech. The ongoing war between Eritrea and its neighboring country, Ethiopia, makes things even more dangerous for people in the UK. The UK Foreign Office says that in Eritrea, there is a very high chance of being arrested on suspicion of spying or other crimes. It's hard to stay safe in the country because there isn't a free press and the government has tight control over information. The situation is made even worse by the government's program of forced national service, which has caused many violations of human rights. Since the UK and Eritrea don't have any diplomatic ties, there isn't much consular help available. For people who are still thinking about going to Eritrea, the risks are much greater than any possible rewards. Because the country is so remote and has a strict government, UK people should not go there in 2024. Things aren't getting better in Eritrea, and it's still one of the most dangerous places for UK people to visit. 1. Mali Mali, where bloodshed and extremism have grown, is at the top of the list of places that people in the UK should stay away from in 2024. Mali is a dangerous place to visit because of the high risk of terrorism, kidnapping, and armed conflict. The country is now one of the most dangerous in the world because of the rise of radical groups like Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, AQIM. According to data from the UK Foreign Office, attacks on foreigners have sharply gone up. Kidnappings and bombings are becoming all too frequent. Extremist groups can operate freely in Mali because the government's control over big parts of the country has been weakened. With so little infrastructure and a war still going on, it is almost impossible to move safely in Mali. The UK's diplomatic position in Mali has been greatly reduced which makes it harder for British citizens to get help when they need it. The ongoing fighting between government troops 
and different rebel groups in Mali makes things even more complicated. The UK government says that even places that were thought to be safe before, like Bamako, the main city, are now vulnerable to violence. Mali's humanitarian crisis has also hit a critical level, with millions of people forced to leave their homes and in need of help. Mali is a dangerous place to visit, because it lacks simple services like clean water and medical care. People who want to go to Mali should not because the risks are too high. Everywhere you look, violence breaks out, making the situation on the ground hard to predict. Mali's future is still unclear, but right now it is without a doubt one of the most dangerous places for people from the UK to visit. As we've seen, these 10 countries are now off limits to people from the UK in 2024. Each one poses its own unique and dangerous risks. The risks are big and shouldn't be taken lightly. There are ongoing wars in Afghanistan and Syria, and Myanmar and Haiti are experiencing political instability. There are too many risks to travel to these countries, whether they are caused by social unrest, terrorism, or government repression. Always put your safety first, and to stay up to date, check travel warnings often. Thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support helps us bring you more valuable content. Safe travels.